What you just heard was the sound of the deepest note ever recorded in the cosmos. It's a colossal pressure wave emanating from the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Perseus cluster. Scientists had to boost its frequency by 57 octaves to make this terrifying low hum audible. This sharp, sudden noise is magnetic field data recorded by the Juno probe during the magnetopause crossing. The signal marks the boundary where the Sun's magnetic field is abruptly overtaken by Jupiter's dominant magnetosphere. This steady, persistent drone is the sound of space far beyond our solar system, captured by the Voyager 1 probe. It is the ambient hum of the cold, thin interstellar plasma. But the sudden bursts of static show us when a massive solar shockwave travels through this vast void, making the dark plasma violently vibrate. This joyful sound is the Dawn Chorus, generated by high-energy electrons trapped in our planet's magnetic field. This vibrant bird-like cacophony is actually a key process. The waves disturb the electrons' orbits, causing them to fall into Earth's upper atmosphere. The sound you just heard may remind you of laser weapons from a classic sci-fi film or game. This dramatic falling pitch signal is known as a terrestrial whistler. It's created when a single lightning strike on Earth generates an electromagnetic pulse, which is then stretched hundreds of thousands of miles along our planet's magnetic field. These chaotic bursts are Saturn's lightning crackles, recorded by the Cassini probe. They sound exactly like the persistent static you hear on an AM radio during a massive terrestrial thunderstorm. These emissions prove that powerful electrical storms are raging deep in Saturn's atmosphere, but their nature is bizarre. Because the bursts happen over a broad range of frequencies and last just a fraction of a second, the Cassini instrument captured them as random speckles of power. What you hear now is a highly time-compressed signal turning two hours of real-time cosmic observation into this dynamic 26-second signature of Saturn's immense electrical power.
It was pretty long, but in my opinion, worth listening to. This rhythmic noise is the singing of Comet 67P, captured by the ESA Rosetta mission. The sound is the result of the magnetic field around the comet oscillating between 40 and 50 millihertz. We hear it because scientists increase the frequency by 10,000 times. The unique song is created by newly charged particles forming an unstable electric current, a mechanism unlike any recorded at other comets. This resonant pulsing signal is the core data from the SOHO and SDO missions, translated through helioseismology. This is the study of acoustic pressure waves that travel and resonate within the sun's interior. Because these vibrations occur at frequencies too low for human hearing, scientists made a frequency shift of the data to make the internal wave patterns audible. By analyzing how these waves refract, we gain critical information, allowing us to accurately map the complex structure of the sun's core and convection zones. This sweeping tone is Saturn kilometric radiation, or auroral music. Recorded by the Cassini probe, these intense radio emissions are generated by electrons accelerating along Saturn's magnetic field lines. The complex radio spectrum reveals numerous small radio sources. To make it audible, the data was heavily processed. Time was sped up 22 times, and the frequencies were lowered 44 times, translating these powerful wave variations into sound. This is the measurement of the plasma wave interaction between Saturn and its icy moon, Enceladus. Captured by the Cassini probe on September 2nd, 2017, this was one of the final observations during the mission's grand finale orbits. The recording translates the plasma waves into sound, revealing the surprisingly powerful energy transfer occurring between the moon and the planet's vast magnetic field. This is the measurement of Venus's nightside ionosphere, recorded by the Parker Solar Probe during a 2020 flyby. The field's instrument captured the electric field oscillations, marking the first direct measurement of the Venusian upper atmosphere in nearly 30 years. This crucial data allowed scientists to confirm how this planet, often considered Earth's twin, is now constantly being stripped of its atmosphere due to puzzling changes over the solar cycle. <laughs> 